hello friends welcome back to my channel so today uh, i have come with uh, another ppt that is uh, what is understanding the pcb material and specification for fab this is the quotation what uh, we are giving um, we are getting from the fabricator like the dimension layers quantity solder mask uh, uh, solder mask color like no mask uh, what uh, kind of solder mask we want to give so these are all things we need to understand uh, copper weight, minimum trace space, these and all we need to fill. So this is the basic thing which we uh, as a PCB designer we need to understand then only we will give the mm, uh, we will give it to uh, uh, fabricator for fabrication of the PCB okay. So so my next slide is understanding the PCB material and specification for fab when you give a PCB for fabrication you need to specify details on PCB materials impedance control finish copper thickness and so on most of the details are so common that they are always assumed however still it is better to know them okay uh, the next question in the quotation would be quantity of the board means how many boards you want to manufacture there would be some minimum quantity like 5 or something depend on the fabricator now come to the next point that is size of the PCB that you have to mention the size of your board in mm or inches anything usually it would be in mm only next point is number of layers how many number of layers you want to fabricate that you have to mention along with the quantity of the PCBs if the board is the uh, for testing purpose you can get minimum number of PCBs to be fabricated then uh, uh, four layers specific number of uh, uh, specifies number of layers uh, this means the number of conducting layers the layers may be either routing layer or plain layer the commonly used number of layers are 1 2 4 6 8 and other even numbered layers odd number layer uh, board may be formed but they are not standard boards and does not offer any savings the pcb material used for three or four layer would almost be the same routing layers contains track while plain layers are generally used to connect power or ground Plain layers have plane uh, plain for copper from which connections are drawn up or down wherever needed. Island can be formed on plain layers and each island may have different signals. Suppose some sets of chips on the board are 3.3 volt while other use 5 volt. Then the power plane may be part uh, partitioned into two islands of 3.3 volt and 5 volt. FR4 specific PCB material type. FR4 is other name of glass reinforced epoxy laminated sheets. It is commonly used PCB material. The reason for its uh, ubiquity as a PCB material are in its high dielectric strength, high mechanical strength, lightweight resistance to moisture and other properties conducive for PCB manufacturing. FR is FR in FR4 stands for fire retardant. What is FR for fire retardant? Another feathers in the PCB materials cap. 1.6 mm thick uh, specified finished board thickness. In multi layer PCB, its uh, thickness after all layers have been pressed together and all the process completed. 1.6 mm is default thickness for 4 layer board. Go for higher thickness if you have heavy components on board to get better, better strength. Keep an eye on thickness even when you have high voltage on board. See this um, uh, thickness will if you have high voltage then you need to give extra thickness for board for manufacturing. Okay. What is 35 micron copper finish? The thickness of copper put on board another popular way to express it in grams or ounce ounce per square feet of copper per unit area x ounce um, uh, would means that x ounce were uh, spread on the board material and it was distributed uniformly over an area of one square of foot go for higher copper thickness if the current density on the board is greater than in average digital circuit in normal board 35 micron is good up till a current of 1 ampere and copper thickness of 1 ounce track width of 10 mil is safe no impedance con number uh, no impedance control when signal transition time is too small or frequency is too high then tracks may behave as a transmission line 
if unchecked uh, uh, such if unchecked such drags may cause significant power loss for maximum power to be transferred to other end of track length and geometry of the track should be carefully laid taking care of transmission line equations as a rule of thumb if the board is of fr4 pcb material with copper track and signal rise time is 1 nanosecond then 2 inches is safe distance if the track length exceeds this and signal integrity is important then consider the transmission line effects also there are lots of free programs and excel sheet available on net that calculate impedance or prelevent geometries if impedance control has been mentioned to the fabricator then an extra test is done on the completed pcb to check the required impedance number of wire fillings normally wires are not filled and you clearly see other side of the board through them however they can be filled or uh, for various reasons one need arises when wires are to be uh, protected from solutions dust etc wires can be uh, filled with conducting material to increase the current carrying capacity of wire one more reason is to level the board wire filling is needed many a times on board with bga component if bga pins make contact with one of the inner layer then the wire can't be placed just underneath the pin because then the solder may flow in the hole and get connected to some other layer so wire filling is done so that solder does not flow in the wire and contacts are properly connected no gold taps at any place on the board when something makes and breaks contact repeatedly then that area wears out fast example is a rubber push button which has contact printed on the board an example is the kind of button used in calculator this wearing out also happens when router card also slots are provided on main board the contacts on the these slots are rubbed when card is pushed in or out in such cases it is wise to put gold layer on the surface which makes contact this enhances life of the contact a separate step is added in the pcb fabricator process if gold taps are specified also remember gold is costly green gloss like lps uh, lpism solder mask the first image that would come to your mind when you think of pcb is a green color board with some shining metal contact and some holes the green color is because of the solder mask now why is solder mask used this is very important question everyone is asking why is solder mask used? solder mask prevents spilling of liquid solder This spilling has become a serious problem in the recent times as the pitch of the IC pins has decreased due to this spilling the pins get shorted to feel the miracle of solder mask try to solder a board which does not have solder mask mostly a homemade pcb won't have and the one which has solder mask you will feel a huge difference this experience made me enjoy soldering which i hated earlier LPSIM stands for liquid photo imaginable solder mask it is a type of solder mask there are solder mask available in other colors as well prevalent among them are red and blue pcb material uh, 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 isolated 370 hr high tg iso LA is a famous company of pcb material and 370 hr is one of their products name This is an FR4 PCB material. This PCB material in addition to FR4 properties has additionally advantage like superior thermal performance which helps in dissipating heat on board. The mechanical chemical and moisture resistant property all equal on exceed the performance of traditional FR4 material. High TG stands for high glass transition temperature. This means that the PCB made of this material can sustain high temperature during HASL or soldering PCB have to sustain high temperature and that's where this parameter becomes important no blind buried wires blind wires are those wires which join one of the outer layers top or bottom which one of the inner layer since the wire can be seen from only one side it is called a blind wire The, uh, this may not seem logical, but just remember it. Buried wires are 
wires which connect one of the inner layers to another inner layer this wire cannot be seen from any of the outer layer and hence it's called buried wire ah uh -huh, this is logical wire filling as we studied above is uh, used many a times when blind and buried wires are used it helps level to surface just above wire so that pads and tracks can be placed over the wires without the solder penetrating it okay so these are the common uh, th uh, basic things which we need uh, to know uh, buried wires blind blind wires solder mask which type of material and all hope uh, this video will be helpful for you all please go through that this video and uh, hope you like uh, it and uh, please like share and subscribe to my channel if any question is there please let me know i'll try to try to explain thank you so much for watching